Here are four creative building tricks to outsmart your opponents. Presented by Fortnite Master. In this video, we're gonna go over four more building techniques that can help you in various situations, like retaking high ground or box fighting. Some of them will feel relatively easy to execute, while others will feel difficult to pull off without a fair amount of practice, but they are all still effective in their own right. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. We're going to start with the easiest trick first. This trick should come in handy anytime you're pressuring somebody who's turtling. And the best part is, it shouldn't take you longer than a minute or two to master. If somebody goes for an aggressive edit while you're pressuring their box, you can turbo build a ramp inside their box before they get a chance to shoot. This is the most consistent way to ensure you don't get hit, and it makes it so they can't reset their build, leaving them vulnerable. This is way more consistent than trying to react quickly enough every single time so you get the better of the trade. This method doesn't require perfect reaction time. You simply need to hold turbo build with your ramp. Once you get your ramp inside their box, hit them with a quick edit and shot. This method works if they go for a ceiling edit too. The only thing about doing it this way is that you have to be careful that your ramp is at an angle where they won't phase into it. Otherwise, they could hit you with a shot when you're not expecting it. This second trick is a little difficult. It's basically an optimized version of the side jump, which gets you height faster, but also requires you to be a little more precise with your jump. For the traditional side jump, you catch yourself with the floor, then proceed to build one of a few ways. For this optimized version, you want to catch yourself with the floor and ramp, landing on top of the ramp. This gives you slightly more height and allows you to keep your momentum and transition into 90s much smoother. The hardest part about this trick is making the jump. It is clearly more difficult and more precise than the traditional side jump, so it will take some practice before you can do it consistently. If you find yourself doing the traditional side jump a lot, however, it may be worth putting in the time to learn this one, as it's noticeably faster for getting height. The only weakness is if that player above you has an opening to shoot you after you make the jump. If you want to account for this, you have two options. You can jump and place the wall first before catching yourself. The difficult part of this variation is being able to whip your cursor back and forth quick enough to place the wall and still catch yourself on a ramp that's facing in the right direction. Your other option is to place a wall above the cone before making the jump. Note that you can only place this wall through a cone, so you'll have to edit the floor if you double block yourself. This added step does make an already difficult trick even harder, so we'd recommend mastering the optimized jump before trying to add this extra step. This third trick is the hardest, but also one of the most versatile. It can be used both as a retake method and as a way to keep height. It was only found a few weeks ago by Parallel Beats and elaborated on by Reddit user SirDuckD, so check out their links in the description. The trick is to edit your ramp in half and use the extra height from the railing to jump up an extra level. Getting that extra level is as good as it sounds, and in many situations is strictly faster than going for height in one of the more traditional ways. Imagine how fast you gain height ramping up normally. You can work this trick into getting an extra level of height without breaking momentum or spending any extra time. In this situation, using the new trick while ramping up is strictly faster at gaining height. The one downside is that you leave your structure held up by a single build when you do the trick. Now let's break down how to do the trick. There are two main parts, both of which can be difficult to get right. The first is being able to smoothly, without stopping, edit your ramp in half and land on the railing. For this part, you want to wait to confirm your edit until after you jump so you land directly on the railing, and make sure you line yourself up in the dead center of your ramp before going for the edit. This will make it much easier to land on the railing. You also want to make sure you are precise with your cursor placement when you go for the edit. If you are ramp, floor, walling up, it's easy to select a pre-edit accidentally instead of editing the ramp like you want. The second part of this trick that can prove troublesome is catching yourself on top of the wall and floor at the end. Our first tip for this is to make sure you're jumping at the very top of the railing because that is how you get the little bit of extra height to make this jump. Second, after jumping, you want to do almost a full 180 and look down with your cursor. This should get you the angle you need to place the wall and floor underneath you. This trick can also be worked into a retake. 
You can do it off a side jump, for example, to get the height of 290s in a single jump. After landing the optimized side jump, you want to cut your ramp in half, run up the railing, turn at the top and place two walls, jump and catch yourself on the floor slash ramp. The jump in this version is much harder to make because you need to do a 180 right before making the jump. This one took us a while to get down. Here's what we learned. Just like the other version, you want to jump at the peak of the railing. Momentum won't do anything for you except make you fall off the back of your builds when you jump. When practicing, think about it like you're stopping at the top of the railing, turning and placing two walls, then jumping forward slightly. Once you get it down slowly, then start to speed it up. This last trick is a simple but flashy way to retake height. It allows you to smoothly transition from double ramping out into 90s and can sometimes even catch an opponent off guard by editing out the ramp from underneath them. It sounds pretty simple. When you're double ramping out to retake height, place an extra ramp above you, edit the ramp to face the side you prefer, confirm the edit and 90 up. There are some things about this however that can be tricky, so let's break it down step by step. The first thing is making the ramp edit. You want to grab the edit as soon as possible and make the edit like this. Editing it like this instead of dragging the cursor straight across is much easier. Now, you want to wait to confirm until you're mid-air after jumping from the top left corner of your ramp so you'll end up above it. Then immediately place a wall behind you to connect the ramp you just edited. When you confirm the edit, you're actually disconnecting your ramp, so you'll need to place the wall immediately to connect the ramp and keep it from breaking. Thank you guys for watching this video. For those who are new to the channel, if you've enjoyed this video, check out some of the others on the right side of the screen. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications for whenever a new guide shows up. You guys are great and we hope to keep making videos that you all like. From over here at Fortnite Master, my name is The Saved One and we're out. Peace.